I have not unpacked it yet. I haven't done anything yet. I'm going to do that right now. I just kind of wanted to see the box first before I take it apart. Look at this thing. Oh. Alright, let's see what it brings. Ooh, Christmas time all together. Now, I do notice right away that the charger is um, European. But it's probably just a standard USB charger, so I'm not worried. I'll just use one of my other ones. Yeah, there it is, USB. So I don't care that it has a uh, European slot. And here's the camera. It comes with one of the cases already installed inside. I like the fact that it has a uh, LED display in the back. Hi! Oh. Oh, Hi! Uh, uh, most dangerous helicopter in the air right now. <laughs> playing, you playing Bumblebee this morning? Not gonna make it! Oh! Right. Look at that! Woo! It's upside down, world. Oh. Again. Oh. Okay, that thing is getting gone. Quick here. Wired up a switch. Here we go to the bag. 3,000 milliamps. Yeah. Uh, IMAX B6 AC. Battery fits. It's finally here. Camera okay. Devo 10 remote. All right, as you can see. Uh oh. Uh oh. Woo V262 quadcopter. The Radjet 800. It's gonna move and sway like this. Right out of the box. That's cool. You see, I'm not even touching the control. It's like... I'm at 25, maybe 20 there. All right. Here it is, all laid out and pretty. Adapters, adapters, adapters. So, let's see what the specs are and let's see what these pieces are. All right, based on the box, this is a 12 megapixel uh, camera and full HD, 30 frames per second, 1080p video. Recording at a quick time movie, which is perfect for me. And it brings a 1.5 inch LED display. All right, so I kind of figured out what all this stuff was. Obviously this is a little wipey napkin. This is the waterproof case and it brings a little film here to peel out when you first use it for the camera. These are uh, additional adapters uh, for using with, um, I'm definitely gonna use it as a camera mount. So I can actually remove this clip, replace it with this, and or use this here from a camera mount or right from my, my, my drone, uh, my 262, where I have this already ready at the bottom. I'll just place this, mount this clip, and boom, this is ready to go. So right now I came with this little clip installed. So it's just a matter of popping this out, removing the clip, and ta-da! We're ready to get strapped on the, uh, on my quadcopter. You gotta love it. <laughs> Simplicity. This little case is good. I'm gonna screw it in. There you go. And then this part either goes into a standard camera mount, or in my case, connects to the bottom of my quadcopter, and then I can angle it a little more down, a little more up, however I see fit that this thing's going to go. So, we're going to have some fun with this thing. Alright, so let's put away these little clip things that I'm not going to use right now. Looks like a belt clip. It's kind of nice. I guess the belt clip goes into these little clips. We have the USB charger. Apparently it looks like it brings a micro USB. Yep. So standard micro USB. The fact that it brings some tie wraps is kind of cool. And this is either a little carrying case or some Velcro straps. Oh, look at that. Velcro straps. A whole pack of Velcro straps. Man, talk about bonus. Look at these things. Sheesh, these things alone cost the money. <laughs> oh, wow. No, they really went on out on this thing. So we got Velcro straps. We pretty much put this anywhere we want. Then we have locking straps. We have the 
clips for pretty much anything. We have a spare rear plastic cover for back here for the waterproof case. We have this clip holder which I think will screw into one of these things and allow us to pop on and pop off the belt clip or any other clip we need. And this would probably be, uh, like I said before, a, uh, a bicycle connector. This is again the Sports HD DV. I don't know why I called it DV, but uh, it brings a whole ton of accessories. It comes with a lot of different colors. No. It's kind of like the clone of the GoPro. I think more like the GoPro um, silver than the black because it's only 1080p. Um, but the megapixels are higher than the GoPro silver. Because uh, the megapixels and the GoPro um, silver are only 10 for the camera. Uh, versus 12 where the black kind of shines in there. So, alright. Oh, there it is. Just figured out how to open it. See if I play with it long enough I can open it. There it is. There's a clip. Oh, and then more little plastic thingies. Should pop right out, I think. What do you think, Kevin? Does it pop right out? Yeah. <laughs> you don't know. Oops, I, I turned it on. <laughs> yeah, the battery's very low. I turned it on by mistake. How you doing? <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, low battery. Let me shut it down. Alright, so. That's kind of cool. It's pretty snug in there, so it's not like I can pop it out really easy. Guess I gotta really gotta play with it to get it out. I'm sure there's some kind of little trick to get it in and get it out. Since it's my first time playing with it, I'm gonna have to pull it from somewhere. Alright, first flaw. Taking it out is hard. <laughs> there it is. Alright, awesome. So the camera itself is pretty lightweight. Feels about maybe 50 grams. Maybe 60? I think the, the Mobius, uh, which I would have on my hat, that was only 40 grams. Um, this one's more like 50 or 60 grams. I'll give it a weight test and see. So I take it here's the battery removal, uh, memory slot on the side, micro SD. Has a, oh, has a little micro HDMI output, and it has the USB um, charger. We have our OK, we have our power button, we have our volume control or shutter control for the menu. And that's it, it's pretty straightforward, pretty nice and clean. This little lens, can't wait to try it. And overall the case looks pretty good, it has a nice seal around it. Cool. So it pops in pretty cool. So, for the pool, yes sir, absolutely. So I'm going to charge this little bad boy up and uh, give her a run. And um, it does bring a nice little manual. I haven't read it yet, I probably won't read it. Just gonna jump into playing with the camera and you know, figure out as, as I go. Uh, all right, so again, let's see how it does. I'm gonna go ahead at the end of this video and um, once I charge it up, uh, add some footage and see how the video quality is. All right, say bye-bye. Bye. Come here, puppy. Come here, puppy. Oof. In the lobby. Puppy. How is that puppy? No! Oh, it's a puppy. Who is a good puppy? Who is a good puppy? No! No!
All right, the first test I did was actually inside the, um, the waterproof case, which was this one here. So I don't know if the audio actually worked. I doubt it, because there was any, I thought it was any audio recording. So now I'm gonna do the same video test out here without the case and see if obviously the case makes a difference in the uh, on the look. Move. What? Move. Move. I'm gonna place on top of it. Move. Yeah, that's vibrating. Move your hand. I know, I just wanna see if it how bad does it jiggle? Supposedly this thing has a um, uh, a little stabilizer or something for, for vibration. So what I want to do is I'm going to test out the stabilizer now. All right, I just put on the anti-shaking. That might be for simple hand shaking. I'm, I'm going to see how much it... Uh, go ahead and pan it softly. And then I'm going to go through the ultimate anti-shaking. Place it on top of a moving air conditioner. That should simulate the worst, most wobbly uh, quadcopter ever. <laughs> yeah, obviously, the quadcopter does a lot faster, more high-speed shaking. Test number three. We already did the outside test, the uh, waterproof test, uh, underwater. and now we're gonna do the underwater <laughs> and the splashproof. So initially, we'll do splashproof test, and then we're gonna go underwater a little bit and see how the underwater test does. You ready for that? Yeah. Awesome. All right, ready for a challenge? Listen, you gotta pick it up softly. Ready? We'll get it. Okay. We'll throw it up, it's gonna land in the water.
All right, just got out of the water. I cleaned uh, the case with soap and water. A little bit of drops here and there on the outside, but absolutely no water got on the inside. And I was throwing the camera up and down, letting it splash in the pool, giving it to the kids, taking pictures all over the place, underwater selfies, and not bad. Not one drop got in, so it's a really good sign. Um, but like anything else, you know, once you're done with the water play, dry up the camera and take it out. You know, just in case if there is any a slight drop that got in, you don't want the humidity building up in there, especially in the heat. But overall, overall I like it. I mean, the quality has been pretty decent. Uh, camera's really easy to use. The buttons, even though they're, they're all water sealed, they're, they're, they're hard to press, but they're pretty easy to navigate with. So I'm happy with the results, and for the price, can't beat it.